Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to explain you how to work on the JavaScript pop-up in Selenium. Let me show you practically what exactly is JavaScript pop-up. I'm taking to your website called as Grotech Minds. In this website, you guys can go to Automate Me section and you can see all the various components here, which are presents, which you guys can practically execute it for learning purpose. Now I need JavaScript pop-up. So I will click on JavaScript pop-up. Yes, this one, this one is called as JavaScript pop-up, right? So what exactly is JavaScript pop-up? Guys, JavaScript pop-up is one of the pop-up that you may get in any application, which are not inspectable. This is the first characteristics of any JavaScript pop-up. They are not inspectable, right? What do you mean by not inspectable? See guys, if you look at this blog, it is inspectable because right click is working. I can inspect it. It's working, right? But I said JavaScript pop-up are not inspectable. You know why? Because right click doesn't work here. You cannot inspect it at all. You, you can't do it, right? You can check this uh, URL by your own and come to the conclusion that yes, right click doesn't work here. If right click doesn't work, then how you're going to locate it and how you're to perform action right so these are the characteristics of any javascript pop-up that you have that javascript pop-up are not inspectable at all right and uh, usually the javascript pop-up will turn the background into a little dull in color these are the few characteristics of any javascript pop-up guys always remember javascript pop-up can give you the maximum options of two options true false something like that do you want to share your location yes no do you wish to upload your resume yes no something like that right are you over 80 Yes, no, right? So JavaScript pop-up can maximum give you two options. True, false, yes, no. Yes, I agree. Yes, I disagree. Something like this. But JavaScript pop-up can also give you single option, which is called as okay, done, enter, selected, something like this, right? Hope you are able to see this JavaScript pop-up. Here I have only one option called as okay. Now the question arises how to handle it in case you don't handle what will happen, right? Is it possible to do anything over the internet without handling JavaScript pop-up is one of the most asked famous questions question from this particular topic the answer is no you cannot do anything on the given application if you got the javascript pop-up you have to handle it first and then only you can proceed to the next line you will not be even be able to maximize your browser if you have not handled the javascript pop-up otherwise you will get an exception called as unhandled alert exception right so let me show you practically how to handle the javascript pop-up so for that what i'm going to do in a particular package i'm going to create a class and give the class name as anything that I wish to. So I have given the class name as JavaScript pop. That's fine. You can give any class name and you can add your main method here. And let's write a code to launch the browser first. Chrome driver driver is equals to new Chrome driver. You create it. Now please import it. Hover over this. Click on import button. After importing it, you can make use of this driver to maximize your browser. You can maximize your browser using uh, driver.manage dot window dot maximize and post maximizing the browser you can do driver dot get and you can enter your url here so the url that you have is this so paste your url here after launching your url try to handle this particular url before i handle this i will check practically once if it is really launching or not so javascript pop-up is beautifully coming i want all of you to please check when the javascript pop-up is there my pop-up my page is still loading right it is still loading why because it want me to handle this particular kind of pop-up first only if i click on okay my page is going to be successfully loaded and that rotation is going to stop now right that means it becomes very important for us as a automation testers to handle the javascript pop-up if you don't handle the javascript pop-up you are not going to get your answer you're not going to get whatever you have written in the next line i'll show you once watch watch out driver dot get title this will give you the title of the page right this is there to give you the title of the page now it is supposed to give me the title of the page but will it give me title of the page the answer is no it will not give me why because 
let me show you let us check your console can you see anywhere title of the page no you haven't seen why because in this line you got a pop-up in the next line you are expecting the title to come so you got an exception called as unhandled alert exception from selenium right and where exactly this is happening this is happening in java line number 13 java line number 13 is here just because you have written this this kind of pop-up came what does it show shows it is showing that there is a unexpected alert open and you must handle it first before moving on to the next line which clearly shows us that you cannot do anything over the given application until and unless you really handle your javascript pop-up so guys to handle javascript pop-up I'll, I'll give you the line of code that you guys have to use which is called as driver dot switch to alert dot accept if you write this piece of code that means your javascript pop-up is going to be handled let me show you so your javascript pop-up is going to be handled and then you will get the title of the page which is your next line of code so this is a piece of code to handle the javascript pop-up as i said few minutes back that sometime you will get the javascript pop-up with two options yes no are you over 18 yes no do you want to upload your resume yes no right in that case if you think you have to go in a positive direction you can make use of accept if you want to select the negative option then you can make use of dismiss example if application ask you in the form of a javascript pop-up are you over 18 yes no if you do accept yes if you do dismiss no, right just because i have only one pop-up here i'm going to stick with my accept but i also want to tell you that you can also use here get text why get text guys get text will give you the what exactly is present in the alert okay let me show you so what is present okay i did a mistake here as of now i'm not handling the javascript pop-up and i'm expecting the text message to come which is my mistake so see what is the text message which is present here this is the alert box right let us go to the console and check we did not get anything why because in java we know that everything needs to be printed out so you have to print it my friend so if you want to get the text you have to print it. now let us see if this time it is really working or not this is an alert box so this is how you can get the text of your javascript pop-up after getting the text message do you want to accept it so accept it after accepting it do you want to get the title of the page you get it now you can run it again so now you will see a beautiful chrome browser empty browser will get launched it will then navigate it to javascript pop-up protect minds website then it will handle the javascript pop-up and then it will give you the title of the beautiful page right so guys this is how we handle the javascript pop-up if you guys have more questions to this particular program please give all your questions in the comment section i will be very happy to answer your queries if you think this video was helpful please give a big thumbs up to this video Subscribe to my channel, Software Testing by MPT, and please share this video with your new friends. Till then, thank you. Take care.